Hey, what's up, everybody? David Wood here for DavidWoodFX.blogspot.com and NoiseJunkies.net with a cool tutorial for you in Photoshop. I am doing a video series on special effects from the cartoon Teen Titans, and this is the first in a possible, uh, I think there's going to be four videos. It's going to be based on the powers that the different members of Teen Titans have, so if you haven't watched that show, go check it out. It's a fun superhero show with a lot of western and anime influence in the animation style and stuff. But let's go ahead and get into this series. Uh, the first effect that we're going to do is of a character named Raven. She has power of telekinesis and she can form virtual barriers out of thin air. Here is the effect that we're going to create right here. As you can see there's this power around her hand which, has bl which is black and then it's got the white glow and then the outline of her character is on the inside just like that like a stencil sketch and also her eyes are glowing white so that is the first effect and here is an example of it and I used Tiger Woods as an example because I thought the picture was funny man he's going to beat somebody up so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial the first thing you want to do is go over to the background take the little lock and drag that to the garbage. Control J and that will duplicate the layer. And the second layer we're going to go to image adjustments desaturate. Then go to filters, stylize, glowing edges. And this basically will just highlight the edges of the image as you can see goes from that to that. The edge width will be one. You want the edge to be thin, you don't want it to be too wide. Um, as if it was a stencil sketch or something, so depending on the size of the image. But for this it works for one. Edge brightness basically controls how bright the surrounding pixels are. We can adjust that to our liking. Um, 10 should work good for this. And smoothness, we don't want to set this too high because then it uh, kind of messes up. It like blurs the image and then applies it. So we don't want it to be at 15. But we don't want it all the way down because then there's lots of little noise artifacts all around and it's very uh, chopped up. So usually like 3 to 5 works really well. I'm going to use 5 and hit OK. And that will be applied. Then what we need to do is go to Image Adjustments, Levels. Grab the black slider and push that down because we don't want all this background um, edge detection going on. So bring that down like that. Don't do too much. You don't want to get rid of all the details on the inside. And you can bump up the white one just a little bit like so. And also we can take the paintbrush tool, make sure the foreground color is black. And we can go in here and get rid of some of these details that we don't want, such as these background noise effects. Now what we've got this image, what we need to do is come down here to the layer control next to the FX, hold down Alt and click on that, and it will create a mask. Next come over here to the chain and click it to unlink the layer from the mask. Then grab the elliptical marquee tool as it's referred to here and draw a circle inside like so and hold down shift and that will constrain the proportions and make sure that it's a perfect circle and we want it to be somewhat bigger than his fist and then we can hit alt backspace and that will fill it in with white and there it is and then we can just do control D we'll deselect that selection and now because this is on a mask and it's unlinked from the layer we can move this around and in this case we want to place it right over his hand go back over to the layer select the second layer not the mask the actual layer double click on it and it will bring up the layer styles and here we're going to apply an outer glow set the color to white the blend mode to normal and opacity to 100 and then bring up the size so in this case 40 looks pretty good and then we can also add a drop shadow and if we go into there set the blend mode to normal color to white set the distance to zero opacity to 100 percent and we can adjust this one too so we have a second glow 
which if you look at it, it will create a much more realistic effect. And we can play with the spread, maybe bring down the size. What we're trying to do with this drop set shadow is just have this brighter inner area as if it was really glowing. We don't want that to be too powerful. And there we have that. Hit OK. And remember, this is still on its own layer, so we can move it around. Just make sure that you select the mask. And there you have it. Something else you can do is instead, you can take this layer and you can use the paintbrush and you can trace around the arm. If you're really good with your mouse, you can do that. Or if you've got a tablet, that'll work. Or you can use the pen tool and then stroke those paths. Now we need to create the effect on the eyes. What we're going to do is create a new layer. We're going to take the polygonal lasso tool and we are going to create a rough shape around his eye. And basically we're just going to kind of shoot out just like that. And then we can fill that with white. And then Control D to deselect that. What we need to do is go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Give it a very slight blur of like 0.8 to 1 will work best. And then we can copy the effects from this hand effect to this new layer by holding down Alt and clicking on the FX symbol and dragging it up to that and it will copy it to that. Now we need to make some changes because that's uh, really intense. But we can double click on the layer and it'll bring it up. And we'll just get rid of the drop shadow. We don't need that. We'll go under the outer glow and we'll lower the size because it's uh, really, really far out. And if we play around with this, we can see uh, how we can make this better. We can do something sort of like that. And we can bring back the drop shadow and just do a wider glow like that. Hit OK. Then we can take this layer and we'll move it over to the second eye that you can't really see. Something like that. And then duplicate the layer. Move it over to the other eye. Just like that. And that is all there is to that effect. As I said before, this is only part one of a three or four part video series on effects from Teen Titans. I plan on doing um, two more on two of the other characters, and possibly a fourth, which is more of a photo manipulation. So I might not do that one. But anyway, that's it. I'm David Wood, davidwoodfx.blogspot.com and noisejunkies.net, and I will see you next time.